Hey guys, Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina, and we are excited to bring you your Friday fishing report, your weekend outlook, if you will, and we're pumped. It's final Friday. It's time for free food, free beer, and a great time here inside John's Pass for our final Friday event every last Friday of every month. And we're excited to talk to you about this nice weather we have coming up and some great opportunities to catch tons of fish out here on the water. Definitely pumped for this full moon weekend we have going on right now. Plus we're ahead of a cold front. So that means the fish should be really excited. Great day to get out there and take advantage of that hot bite ahead of the front today and tomorrow. Then once that front comes through Sunday morning, things might get a little bit slower for us. That north wind's gonna pick up. It's gonna get a little nautical there Sunday and into Monday, but gonna calm down nicely Monday afternoon. Tuesday looks pretty decent, and Wednesday should be real good because it's looking flat calm, gonna warm up a little bit. Things will stabilize behind that front, and those fish should be really excited because they didn't get the opportunity to feed Sunday and Monday with that cold weather, that bumpy condition, that stirred up condition from the front. So best fishing is always right ahead of the front that would be saturday or behind the front once things have time to calm down warm up and clear back up as well which looks like that should probably be wednesday so some good opportunities tuesday wednesday thursday next week really good opportunities today and tomorrow hopefully you'll be able to capitalize on those good fishing opportunities good weather days and hopefully you're enjoying this warm weather like we are here it is into the low 80s today and tomorrow Tomorrow. Sunday it's going to cool things off, dry things out a little bit, and uh, we'll definitely be a little bit chillier there to start the work week next week. But a lot of moving water on the backside of this full moon, and a lot of big flushing tides will be moving a lot of bait and getting those fish actively feeding inshore right now. Sheep's head are everywhere, virtually every structure. We're finding lots of those sheep's head hungry and ready to eat. The redfish bite's going really well on those residential dock lines, especially those little points uh, near those canal tips that are adjacent to grass flats are a great place to look. Also, oyster bars and mangrove shorelines, good areas as well. We're seeing a lot of the redfish out on the flats too. Trout bite's going really well. We're seeing a ton of speckled trout virtually everywhere across the Bay Area. Really good trout bite with an average size that's been impressive as of late. Also, the snook are tucked into the upper bay and back bay areas. You got to really hunt around, but if you can find them, a lot of times there's going to be a few of those juvenile tarpon mixed in with them as well. And the bite has been pretty active, especially the last few days with things warming up. Those snook are a little bit more active and a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more apt to feed right now because it's warm and they're excited like you and I are as well. Now, also, we're seeing a lot of flounder as they move inshore from their near shore spawning aggregation sites. We're starting start to see the flounder matriculate back into our Bay Area waters and more activity on the flounder front. A lot of triple tail around as well so check those buoys check those markers then near shore right now all about those hogfish the hogfish bite has been perfect lately on our uh, five hour half day yesterday we got 10 keeper hogfish believe it or not and we've been seeing some really nice action on the red grouper occasionally too we even got a keeper red grouper on the half day yesterday which isn't normal not something you really want to go out there on the half day kind of targeting and hoping for but it does happen it can happen we're seeing a lot more 10 hour uh opportunities the 10 hour right now is on the hub so you definitely have a better shot for those red grouper on the 10 hour on the hub right now you still have a chance once we move back to the party boat 10 hour trips you'll have a chance for those red grouper we just don't catch a ton of them on the 10 hours and the five hours near shore once you get deeper you start to get a much better chance for those red grouper about 100 to 140 foot of water it starts to get good for those red grouper and then really good once you get out there past 140 foot so the 12 hour extreme 39 hours definitely going to be your best bet for those red grouper right now uh and then we're going to definitely dive into them and get inside that fence and really do well on february and march still as well so excited for the red grouper 
Nice action on the mangrove snapper right now. Lots of big lane snapper out there. This is the time of year we get a lot of blackfin tuna as well. So hopefully you'll get a chance to get out there and capitalize. Don't forget if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Hopefully we'll see you tonight from final Friday, 6 to 9 p.m. every last Friday of every month here inside Fish Famous John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. We do free crawfish, free beer, free food. It's a good time. Plus tonight we have a barbecue contest. First place gets you $300 trip fare. Second place is a $100 trip fare. Third place is a free Hubbard's Marina swag pack. All you have to do is bring in your barbecue and that will start at 7 p.m. tonight. So we'll see you for the barbecue contest. Free crawfish, free beer, free food. There's live music in the past. There's three different concert stages. There's a John's Pass wide pub crawl. It's a great time at Final Friday, every last Friday of every month. Then also, don't forget every Saturday morning, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., we have our Real Animals radio show. Every Sunday night, 7.30 p.m., we give away $1,500 in free stuff during our live stream show. Hopefully, we'll see you for those as well. And hopefully, you'll get out here on the water. Don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy.